Well, hello there. I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS All, your source for open source. Last week, I talked about how Netflix finally works like a charm in Linux. So this week, as promised, I'm going to teach you how to install and run it in Ubuntu, Mint, and yes, even Fedora. <laughs> Brought to you by Shutterstock. Now I've tested this in Mint 14 with Cinnamon and it works perfectly. And I've heard good things from people running with Ubuntu and other Ubuntu flavors. So just follow these same steps. Get that terminal window open, you'll be adding a PPA. Don't worry, those of you new to Linux and the tons of acronyms that come along with it, a PPA stands for Personal Package Archive, like what Mr. Hoover and Friends built for us Netflix lovers here. What you're doing now is adding a custom created package that's outside what Ubuntu offers by default. Then we want a sudo apt-get update to refresh the list of available packages. And while we wait for the update, I'll explain a bit more about PPAs. By adding PPAs from other users' app repositories, it gives you not only the latest and greatest, but sometimes bleeding edge programs. But why I use them the most is that I find really valuable applications that just happen not to be officially supported. Not all PPAs are safe though, so be sure your resources are reputable. Now we're going to install the Netflix Linux desktop app by entering sudo app get install Netflix desktop. Remember, if you don't see the commands in the lower third, I'm also going to have it in the description so you don't have to worry. After installing, like with lots of Linux applications, you don't need to restart. Just find Netflix. I'm searching using Dash in this case. And everything you need will install upon your first launch. For example, I needed Gecko and Mono for Wine. After logging into your Netflix account and selecting a video to play, Silverlight should ask you to enable DRM content and presto changeo, you're watching your favorite video. Now there was a separate team that worked on the Fedora Netflix player, and I warn you there's no support for 64-bit yet, but if you have a 32-bit system, it works right out of the gate. Now yum is the package managing tool for Fedora, much like apt-get is for Ubuntu. This time we're going to pull a tarball, or archive file, from sourceforge.net using the wget command here. I actually did a video on wget and how awesome it is, so feel free to check that out in my video reply below. So check it out, we've just downloaded the Netflix player archive. Let's unpack it by using the following xvzf command. And it shows us that the unzip file is called netflixplayer.sh. Now we want to get root access and run the file as a shell script like this. And much like before, this will install everything you need for Netflix, silver, light, and wine included. I already have wine installed, because I tried doing this a couple times. Now we can run it from the activities panel, or for kicks, I'll do it in the command line since I'm already here sh slash user slash bin slash netflix dot sh. Again, my system is 64-bit, which is not yet supported, which you can actually read if you speak Spanish. Otherwise, if you have a 32-bit OS, you should be golden. Yum, 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 yum. Man, I forgot how fun it is to use Fedora's package manager. What distro do you want to be watching Netflix in? Let me know in a comment below and I will keep it in mind for future videos. So until next time, thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe, the button's down there, I guess, so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Bye. Have a good weekend. Let's look for a llama vector. That's good. Oh, that's way too small. Ooh, perfect. As you can see, Shutterstock has the best stock vectors, photos, illustrations, even video clips. You can sign up for large image packs, monthly subscriptions, or just grab a single image. They even offer enhanced license access just in case you want to print an image out, blow it up big, or screen it on a t-shirt. What? What's really fun about Shutterstock is you can curate your own galleries and search through featured light boxes. Find an image you like? Download it at any size for one price. No nickel and diming for high-res stuff. Just head to Shutterstock.com or install their iPad app to get started and there's no credit card needed. 
And when you find the images you want, just use the offer code OS12 to get 30% off any package. It's that easy.